What's good, YouTube? Y'all don't need to hear back again once again. And today, people, today we are here for episode number 30 of our brand new Pokemon Radical Red Hardcore Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, you guys, we were here in Celadon City and we took on Erica, Gym Leader Erica, and it was a pretty wild, all over the place battle. Pretty tense, if I do say so myself. <sighs> And I guess there's no point in not spoiling it because, I mean, this is episode 30. If you're 30 episodes in, I imagine you'd be keeping up. But yeah, we lost to Erica in the last episode. So we have a lot to discuss uh, in today's episode. <sighs> if you guys are hyped for some more Radical Red, if you guys are hyped that Radical Red is continuing, and of course, if you like to show your support as a primer of the Happy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you're already. No! Your support is greatly appreciated. Now, yes, in the last episode, we did lose to Erica here in Celadon City. I have been sitting here for the past 30 minutes listening to that music. I need something different. <laughs> uh, yes, in the last episode, we lost to Erica. It was a very tough battle. Uh, we knew that going into it. I think we played okay. We played pretty well, I think, in... Uh, our first attempt against Erica. Keep in mind, I said first attempt. And our first attempt against Erica, I think we misplayed once. Um, we talked about that at the end of the last episode. Um, but I think that kind of sort of definitely sealed our fate at that point in time. Um, if you didn't watch until the end of the last episode, after I finished recording, I was sitting there like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it again. And I went and fought Erica. <laughs> And I beat her. <laughs> and I beat her. Um, even in that second take, there was a couple misplays that I caught. Well, I mean, of course I caught. I caught the moment I did it. Uh, against the Glaring Slowbro, I don't know why. Maybe I was just tilted or not paying attention or something. But I clicked Bulldoze against it. I said we're going to click Shadow Ball with our uh, Palosan with Vivian. We're going to click Shadow Ball like 90 times. And then for whatever reason, I just clicked Bulldoze. Um, but that definitely cost us... Uh, our Sandy, not Sandy Gas, our Palosan um, and our Flygon in that rematch battle. Um, but ultimately, we ended up getting, um, fucking Orlando got another crit again against the Palosan. I mean, against the, the Slowbro. Damn! Uh, and we ended up winning, so that was very, very lucky. Um, but it just, it just felt so bad that we went up against Erica and it, it literally did not matter how much preparation we did. We have nothing to beat that Kartana 1v1. Um, or without so many odds stacked against us, I should say, because 1v1 is not the proper thing to say. But anyways, um, we lost. We lost, we lost, we lost, we lost, we lost. This is not another one of those Bugsy situations where it's like, oh, well, actually, yeah, because I really don't want to do that. Every time we lose and it's like, oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, no, we lost. We lost against Erica. Um, and I think we did really good <laughs> considering that i've never done a hardcore nuzlocke before considering that i've never played radical red i didn't know what i was getting into considering that i haven't attempted any sort of serious pokemon um battling in a very very long time i think we did really really good for a first try a first run uh we got almost halfway through the game um and i was scrolling through the documentation looking at some of these upcoming battles and i'm just not ready to let it go yet I'm just not ready to let it go yet. I've invested so much of my life into this damn game! <laughs> it can't just end that quick. God damn it. So I really want to keep playing. I really want to keep going. We still have a box and a half of Mons in the PC. And I know for the longest time, there was always a play style of Nuzlocke's where it you, your Nuzlocke didn't end if you whited out it ended when you lost all of your pokemon including in your pc now i know that we've never played that way before and like i said we lost i'm not trying to come up with excuses every single time we lose but um i really want to keep playing we still have a box and a half worth of pokemon so i say we keep it going we <laughs> same rules same everything we made it this far i'm gonna keep it going um, technically, yes, we lost. I'm gonna say it again and again and again. I don't want anyone to get confused. I'm not trying to come up with excuses or reasons or this or that. We lost. We lost, we lost, we lost. Um, but we still have a box and a half of mods in the PC. Or I should say, we probably have about a half a box of decent mods in the PC. So we're gonna go ahead and keep it chugging lugging along because I wanna, I, I enjoy the game. As stressful and uh, challenging as it is, 
it's like I, I i don't know it's so rewarding when you finally get through an episode and you know like here hey i, I show my work before the battle and then we do the battle and everything right like i just love it you know that moment in the last episode when orlando got that crit on that bitch ass mega salamence not salamence uh septile oh my god yo shit i need that again i need that you got any more of that man hey joe rogan you got any more of that um but anyways yeah we're gonna keep it going uh, and we're going to uh, just pick up right where we left off. Like I said, at the end of the last episode, I did battle Erica, and we won. Uh, so we have our rainbow badge. We're four badges in now, um, and we're just going to keep it moving, keep it moving. Um, I guess to fall in line with the rule set that we had been utilizing so far. Um, whoa, spoilers! I guess to keep in line with the rule set that we have been going with so far, even though Orlando was the only one that survived the rematch, um, he died in the initial battle, so the entire squad that we used against Erica is now chilling in the PC, and we are inching ever so closer to a box full of mons. It seems so long ago. I was so proud that we only had one or two mons in the PC. Look, that was in Pewter, that was in Cerulean, that was in Cerulean, uh, that was in Cerulean. <laughs> uh, these three were in Cerulean. Wow, wait a minute, wait a minute, it's too many, it's too many, but any. What are y'all doing? What did they just bust in the room and start biting each other's faces? What y'all doing? Oh, my bag is doing. Ah, bats. Um, anyways, yeah, we're gonna keep it moving. Uh, like I said, we lost, but we're gonna keep doing what the frick we do. I was gonna say, this is the part of the episode where we get a team recap. Let's see if it fizzles out. Let's see. Up first, we have Fred, our level 47 for alligator. Yes. Our new level cap after Erica is 47! All of that for three fucking levels. Three levels! Fred, our frog is at 47. Hold the Mystic Water. Out of nature with sheer force. Rocking Liquidation, Flip Turn, Aqua Jet, and Rock Slide. Then we got our big grand dog! Our level 47, Alolan Muck, Citrus, holding the Citrus Berry. Careful Nature with Poison Touch, Rocking Poison Fang, Knock Off, Gunk Shot, and Crunch. You got lucky last episode, my boy. <laughs> You almost got taken to that battle. You almost got brought to that one. Then we have our boy D'Angelo, our level 47 Behem, holding the Petra Berry, Calm Nature with Analytic, rocking Psychic, Stored Power, Headbutt, and Simple Beam. He kind of got a little trash ass moveset, but we're only bringing him to click Psychic today. But I'm pretty sure this is D'Angelo's debut, so can we get a round of applause? D'Angelo, welcome to the squad. Welcome to the squad. Up next, we have Bongo, our Azumarill, at level 47, holding the Citrus Berry, careful nature with huge power, rocking liquidation, ice punch, play rough, and body slam. It's Bongo's debut as well. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Then up next, we have Lamar, level 47, Primarina, holding on to that pixie plate, modest nature with torrent, rocking sparkling, aria, icy wind, moonblast, and aqua jet. And then last, but certainly not least, she's back, or he's back again, <laughs> Florida, our level 47 Wobble Fit, holding that citrus berry, gentle nature with, we gotta change that to shadow tag. Ooh, shit, we gotta change that to shadow tag. Um, I meant to change it to shadow tag. I didn't change it last episode because it was in that double battle, and we were planning on using her against the trainer's last two mons, so it didn't really need shadow tag, but I did mean to change that. Oh, we gotta do that, we gotta do that. Uh, Rock and Counter, Encore, Mirror Coat, and Thief Guard. So this is the squad that we are using today. However, we are going to place them in the PC ever so gently right here just like this because we are not going to be using them just yet. Um, we have a few more encounters that we can wrap our little piggies around, goddammit. Um, hold on, I'm gonna go do this right now because if I don't, I will forget and then I will be screwed. <laughs> and, uh, I, will, I'm, I don't think we'll be screwed. I don't think it's, I don't think it is super necessary for today's episode to have Shadow Tag, but it's, it's, it's not, it's not, hey buddy, you guy? Hi, I can swap to a Pokemon's hidden ability and vice versa. I'll need a bottle cap though. There you go. Give me that shadow tag. Um, okay, so shadow tag. We're good to go. Hold up, 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 hold up. Drop your ass right there. Drop that ass down. Drop that ass down. Just drop that ass down. 
Um, okay, take me there. What I'm going in. So, our encounters that I'm talking about today are inside this lovely building right here. Oh my god. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <gasps> Actually, no, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Before we get to <laughs> the casino, before we get down there, um, we need to head back in here. Um, in between episodes, after I beat Erica, I came back here, and homeboy here to the right of the door was like, Oh my god, nappy! We have some Asuian eggs for you! So our first encounter today, I... Oh, Savian, my bad. Um, <laughs> uh, do a little bit, but I didn't have room in my party. I had, uh, Rillaboom, Orlando, and five dead Pokemon, so, yes, I have room. It's just an egg? It's just one egg? Oh, he made it sound like he had, like, a whole batch of them or something. But wait, wait, I want to see what it's going to be. Oh my god, oh my god. You know, what if you <laughs> looked and it was a Manaphy egg? So, it's randomized, so I don't know if we're actually going to get a Savian form here, but... <laughs> hey, I ain't mad at that! Hell no, I ain't mad at that! Uh-uh! We use that, uh, Galarian Weezing. We use it all fucking back. And hell yes, I want me another Weezing. Or, well, this is a regular Weezing. Um, but we're gonna name her Sheila. Hey, girl, hey! Neutralized guys. Another yawn. Will-O-Wisp user. That is bulky as all get out with Levitate. I know it said natural cure, but you know he gets Levitate. Or she's gonna get Levitate. So, uh, yeah, I ain't mad at that at all. Hell yeah, girl. Welcome to the squad. Welcome to the squad, girl. Welcome to the squad. Um, anyways. Yes, back to this here building. Um, I think we have enough moolah. Um, they don't sell us. It's just coins in here. I, I know it's in the other building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, never mind. You can exchange your shit for shit next door. Okay, thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks for all the help. Thanks, thanks. What about you? And what about you? So, who's got the Pokemon? Oh! TMO6 is toxic. I... Wouldn't teach my shoulder Ice Beam to evolve into Cloyster. Ice Beam. Light Screen. Protect. Hyper Voice. Thunderbolt! Reflect, Flamethrower, Energy Ball, Explosion, Shadow Claw, Gyro Ball, Swords Dance, Dark Pulse! Oh, whoa, whoa, you know, I want to buy all these, but is there any point in buying Swords Dance? It's not going to let me teach it to anybody. Um, Shadow Claw, Scald, Poison Jab, Flash Cannon, Dragon Tail, Dazzling Gleam, Scorching Sand. Whoa, ho, ho, God damn. And they sell Pokemon. Dratini, Larvitar, Beldum, Bagon, Rylou, Rotom, Gibble, Larvesta, Dano, Gumi, Jangma, O, Dreepy, Honed! IS IN THE FUCKING GAME CORNER! Toxel? Yo, can we not have this randomized? Can I just have these? These are probably the best encounters I've gotten this entire time. Um, hold on, I didn't peep the price for that there. Wait. We sell exclusive Pokemon. It can be upgraded to their shiny forms for a steep price as well. Interested? Um, okay, so... If it's randomized, I'm gonna buy one of every single one of them. Dratini? If it's not randomized, I'm gonna buy one of every single one of them. That'll be a hundred thousand dollars. Would you like to upgrade it to its shiny form? It'll double the price. Okay, we gotta go pick up some rare candies if this is the case. I actually need rare candies too. Um, I should have known. I should have done this before we started recording. I should have known this is gonna be expensive as shit. Um, but you know what? It's our first one. You know, in honor of us picking ourselves up, dusting our shoulders off, and diving back into the wild and wacky world, of Radical Red. Let's do a shiny for the first one. Would you like its hidden ability? Is that gonna cost more too? Dratini, that'll be 100,000 with its hidden ability, with a shiny upgrade making it another 100,000, 200,000 total, is this correct? Yes. Thank you, partner, enjoy. Do we actually get a Dratini though? Or is it randomized with Dratini's moves? No fucking way! I made two hundred thousand dollars for a mod I already got. <laughs> and it's shiny though. Ah, damn. Um. So, are we still doing species? 
Are we still doing species? Because I wouldn't be 100% uh, upset. I mean, I did say all the same rules, so we gotta get... I gotta see if... Uh, is it actually randomized the whole time? Or is... Like, Dratini been randomized to Dupiter? Because the other dudes in the other place... Um, actually, no. I feel like it won't be randomized. We're gonna try it without it being shiny. But I feel like it won't be randomized because... The other guy gave you gifts, like the other people in the Celadon apartments, they gave you gifts that came from a pool of mods. Yo, how many of these do I have? I gotta have enough by now. 978? Nah, dog. Give me some more. Give me some more. Oh, I can't take any more, that's why. Duh. Um, but, I feel like they pull from a pool, so if we were to go back and pull another mod, get another mod from them, like we'd have like a, I don't know. Just as an example, one in five chance of getting... Like, they're only going to give us one out of these five mons that they have. What the fuck am I doing in here? This is the wrong place. Um, so, let's see. Let's see. If he gives us another Jupiter... I can't sell more than 99 at a time. Yo, I'm never going to worry about money again. I know that we already have enough, but we're never going to worry about money again. Come on, bro. I got to get a whole bunch of mods up to level 47. Come on now, man. Oh, thanks, bro. That was easy. I feel like that went a lot faster than I thought it did, and I kind of just stood here and spammed a little bit. But anyways, back to our little experimento here. Hey, jackass. Is this going to be... No. No, I mean, it doesn't cost anything for the hidden ability. So, is it randomized? No, it's just a Jupiter. Okay. Well, either we consider that dupes and we, I don't know, go to a raid den for a, a separate encounter to, like, swap it out or something. It just sucks because the raid den mod's not going to be shiny. Uh, I'm gonna plop you down here to remind to remind myself. Um, Larvitar, hundred thousand, hell yeah, hell yeah. What you got, bruh? Oh, please be a Larvitar. Please be a Larvitar. Is it? it is it all just stupid? Don't do this to me. What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, wait, 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 wait! I only did that. Time out! Time out! Time out! No, wait! No, 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 no! Hold on, it wasn't Larvitar. So, okay, so I'm guessing Dratini and Larvitar got randomized to the same thing. Beldum, yes, I want the shiny and the hidden ability, and that should give us a shiny Grim Snarl. Ooh, look at that boy! You know, I actually kind of like the regular one better, but we're, we're gonna rock with the shiny because everyone knows shiny Pokemon do more damage. Um, okay! Ah! I'm down with that! Oh, down with that! Oh, down with that! We need fairy and dark type Pokemon. So, okay, this little jackass we need to re encounter for. Oh, no, we're letting him. No, 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 no! Yeah, 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 yeah! They're both considered dupes, right? They're both considered dupes. Um, so one will go to a raid den for. And the other, we just get a random encounter? I only said that because they're hidden abilities. Um, but to be fair, I would... No, we're going to do them both at the raid then. Fuck that noise. We're going to do them both at the raid then. Um, this dude, we got to release, though. He's got to go. Okay, so we got our Grim Snarl. That was Beldum. Right? That was Beldum. I got to remember this. Bag on! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! What you got? Please don't be a Jupiter or a Grim Snarl. And I, I just paid for this again. A Vagon survey set. Oh, fuck! Yes! Yes! Oh, I love it. 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 Yo, you're only getting citrus berries from here on out. Yes. Excellent fucking encounter. Holy shit. Holy shit. Excellent encounter. Yes, please and thank you. Okay, keep it going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. What's that, Brian Lou? Give me that shiny. Give me that hidden ability. 
What we got? 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 I mean, okay, okay, okay. Number one, okay, number one. I'm not mad at it, but I was sitting there thinking, oh, that's dupes. I mean, oh, that's species. But we kept the wheezing. Uh, so I mean, no, technically, aren't they considered the same species? Hisui, I mean, Galarian wheezing and wheezing is the same species. Um, damn, does that mean we can't keep our wheezing? I mean, that was a static mon, so we'd have to re-encounter. But I really want the wheezing. Ah! Um, but that would mean that we'd have to go to a raid den for the Zora arc too. Huh. Okay. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Um, I'm gonna say that we used, we don't, if for this game, we don't, um, use them or consider regional variants as the same species because they're basically different Pokemon. Like, one is one was poison fairy this is just pure poison so i think we're we're gonna keep the wheezing not just because i really want the wheezing um but it's the same thing with the zoroark you know we have a sui and zoroark and this is just a regular zoroark one is ghost normal and this one is dark they're entirely different mods so let's keep it moving let's keep it moving all right rotom is next abroxish aha abroxish Look at that! God damn! I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. I'll gladly accept. I mean, technically, we don't really need another water type. I mean, look at all these fucking water types that we have. The Minion, there's a Gleister, there's a Fraggy, there's an Azumarill, the Primarina, now we got a Ruxus, there's a Dupiter over here. God damn! Uh, the Barrascuda as well. The Galissapod chilling down there, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. We welcome them all. I'm sure that there will come a time and place that our Bruxus will come in handy. Oh, we gotta name all these things. Oh, we named Sheila. We gotta name all these things. Ho ho, all of our shiny Pokemon. <laughs> ah, if you guys love shiny Pokemon, make sure you hit the like button down below for us. Um, up next. Oh, we have Gibble. Can I actually have a real Gibble though, please? Please. Be randomized to a gibble. Be randomized to a gibble. Be randomized to a gibble. A thievel. Oh. Oh, yo, that shiny is dope. What the fuck? Stake out. Does a uh, doubles damage if foe switches out. Oh, so I'm gonna click persist. Uh, I'm not mad at this. Uh, I feel like the only downside to this is it's kind of like an early game mon, if I remember correctly. So, cause doesn't a uh, Nicket evolve into? Uh. Thievel. So in my mind, I'm not I'm not trying to disrespect Thievel here, but I'm looking at a Mighty Ana. But I feel like it's a little disrespectful. I feel like it's probably better than a Mighty Ana, but either way, I'm I, you, you get the point I'm making. It's like an early game mod. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But go ahead. Chill over here. We'll find we'll find a we'll find a position for you. Don't you worry. Uh, Gibble was last. Okay. Oh god, there's still so many. Larvesta! Bingo, bango! Hell yeah, upgrade that shit. Let me, let me upgrade you. And yes, we have to go through these one at a time because there's no way I'm gonna remember. Like, oh, this was that one, this was that one, and this was that one. Oh! <laughs> okay, well, that's definitely going to be considered dupes as well. I mean species as well because we did get a gothitelle we had a gothitelle we lost it in the last episode i don't really want to talk about it um we need to stop getting so many duplicate pokemon come 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 now like i understand uh that the game like we didn't manually randomize the game the game like the developers put a mode in the game where it randomizes itself and that's because when you play on hardcore mode they limit the mons that you can use so even though there's 800 something Pokemon it goes up to gen 8 or whatever however far it goes We don't have access to all the Pokemon that are in the decks up to that point So I feel like it's limited based upon the badges that you get to because like there's no way we would have had a Gothitelle At the very beginning. I don't think we would have ran into that. I mean who knows maybe but Either way, I, I think it's randomized from a smaller pool of like uh, B maybe some a 
but primarily B and C tier Pokemon. I mean, just look at our box. <laughs> uh, wait, was that the Dano? I think that was Dano. No, it was not! Dang, look at this little dirty fool! Battle armor, yes, we love it! Okay, I can rock out with a Perserker. That was the Dano, okay. I can rock out with a Perserker. I ain't mad at that. Yeah, I'm just getting all of them shiny because why not, you know? <laughs> why the fuck not? Uh, who we got next? That was Dano. Go, 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 me! Survey says... <laughs> it's a shiny Tyrant! Ah, I love it! Yes, we will find a place for you, my boy! Yes, we will! Hell to the fuck, yes, we will! God damn, I ain't mad at that! I am not mad at that! Uh, who is that? Gumi? That was Gumi. Jang my old, what's poppin' with you, big dog? Yo, don't be, don't be randomized. 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 Can, can, uh... Komo'o use clangorous scales in this game? Or am I just thinking of the Z move? Oh, it's a little pig knight! Oh, look at this little spicy piece of bacon right here! Yo, that is a nice grab, though. I will say that much. We don't have a whole lot of fire types, let alone thick-ass fire types. We will gladly add your heat crashing ass to the squad. Welcome, welcome, welcome! Yo, you guys might need to uh, skedaddle over here, yo. We're, 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 we're kind of running out of room down here. Um, I wish I could grab, like, a whole row at once, but uh, unfortunately, we cannot. I meant to start this episode off with them already in the PC, and... Me not having to move them and drag them and all that shit, but I gotta sit down and make like a checklist of all the different things that I need to do before I sit down to record this series. That's why I said I've spent so much of my life <laughs> recording this series. We are not ending it yet. Um, okay, we got three left. Dreepy, you wanna be not randomized? Yeah, 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 yeah. Survey says. I'm electric! Uh, you know what? First of all, I absolutely fucking adore Shiny Manectric. I think it's one of the best shinies in the game. Fuck yes. Uh, and we have another Intimidate user. Another. This is not Late Night Emerald. If you're missing out on Late Night Emerald, you're missing out on some traumatic episodes this week. M so much more than what is warranted for Late Night Emerald. Definitely make sure you go back and check that out. I know, tiny little plug, fucking 30 minutes into this episode, but... I thought Intimidate, and we have two Intimidate users on our team in that series, but I don't think we have, we have a Mawile, we have a Mawile, but we want, what is it, Sheer Force? Or does Mawile get huge power, one of the two? Either way, Intimidate could still be helpful, but, anywho, very big down for the Manectric, um, a fast electric type, which, <laughs> look at this jackass right here, you're not a fast electric type. Uh, but ever since we lost Margarita, we've been hurting in the electric type department. I mean, this was technically her replacement. Dr. Chu, Dr. Cheeks, Dr. Chu Cheeks reporting for duty. Uh, we got a little bit of bulk in our electric types down here. But, I mean, as you can see, uh, we, we, we're, we're kind of lacking in that department. Flash Grumpig is the next best thing we got. <laughs> so, I'm not mad at that Manectric at all. It's definitely what was needed. Um, Honedge, you are next. I would definitely very much so like it and love it if you stayed a Honedge. <laughs> we wouldn't be here talking about, oh, we lost, we lost, we lost, we lost, we lost. If you were here, Alivani, Alivani. Uh, actually, big down for that. We're gonna keep you away from all the birds, of course. Um, but aside from the Trevenant that we just snagged and our Torterra, what saws buck i don't think we have a whole lot of grass types um and oh 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 how could i forget you percival how could i per forget you percival so okay um and of course rest in peace orlando he was another grass type we had but not mad at it especially with it being a bug type do we have a lot of bug types either i don't think we do uh ninjas clive down here selena 
as well. Oh, and of course, Rochelle. Uh, we got Umberto down here doing the damn thing. And of course, Gloria. Okay, never mind. We do got a couple bug types, but I ain't mad. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. Leave Annie. We can, we, can find, we can find a place for you. All right, final one is this here jackass Toxel. Join the squad, bro. Join the squad. What you gonna be? What you gonna be? What you gonna... Ah, <laughs> uh, you ass! You ass! You ass! Okay, I know it's randomized, but what are the fucking odds that they give us two mons that we just lost? Okay, so we have to get four new re-encounters here. Four raid den encounters. Uh, to swap them out for something. So, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna release them now. Just because I don't feel like dealing with moving mons later. We have four mons that we need to re-encounter. So, um, we're gonna go and snag them. Right now. Right now. Oh, wait. If we're gonna go to a raid den, we need Pokemon. Okay, let's swap the squad back in. <laughs> Let's just do it. Let's just swap the squad back in. Uh, I like how I'm using this little pin kerchin as like a placeholder. He's like our little paperweight. <laughs> I don't know when, if ever, we're gonna use you, dog. But hey, you 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 have a role. You know, I tell everybody that pops in. Hey, we gonna find some place for you. We gonna find some place for you. And that pin kerchin, Blagna. <laughs> hey, we're almost at two boxes of mods. That little pin kerchin, Blagna. He, uh, he found his place. He's got a retirement package waiting for him. Um, okay, so just because we have it, we're going to get it all. Oh, you can only buy it once. Uh, obviously, the TMs don't expire or break, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. What's the, what's the, what, what would you, what would you call that? They're, they're not just one use. Um, but I don't feel like going through them all again. we just going to scoop them all up. And whatever we can or can't teach, we'll just have to go from there. But I don't think that we bought anything that is detrimental or really necessary for today's episode. Um, Hyper Voice, Thunderbolt. Uh, no, I don't think anyone that we brought can learn that. I don't think we need Flamethrower either. Energy Ball. These are really good moves, though. Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, Energy Ball, Shadow Claw. Gyro Ball, Dark Pulse, Scald, one of the best moves in the game, Poison Jab. Oh, fuck, yes. You know how long I've wanted Poison Jab? Actually, no, I'm going to teach that to, uh, what's his name right now? Grime Dog? How, you know how many times I've had to, like, with the nastiest looking face, type in Poison Fang into this damage count because he just won't fucking learn it? I imagine he gets it by level up. Flash Cannon is great, too. Dazzling Gleam is always great. Scorching Sands is great. But I don't, I don't think we're, we're going to need to use them in today's episode, but we definitely will. At a certain point, we definitely will. Where'd that poison jab go? Yes, big dog. Yes, big grime dog. Get that bullshit up out of here. Hell yeah, buddy boy. Hell yeah. Actually, we could, uh, just for shits and giggles, Sparkling Aria is base 90? Isn't Skull base 90? 80 with a burn. Okay, never mind. Next time. When we need it. We're not clicking Sparkling Aria today, so I'm not stressing. Um, okay, so we're going to those four encounters that we had. We're gonna go to this rear raid den first and see what we Find we got to use our wishing pieces. Of course We're gonna go to different raid dens Just to see what we can Uncover here. What is that a cremorant? It's not gonna be him though uh, Who do we take into this battle? Who, 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 who? I'm gonna take you I'm gonna take you and I'm gonna take you Show me what you got, dog. <laughs> yes, please! Oh, yes! Absolutely! Oh, so nice having. Yo, I swear to you, I, I did not know. Oh, I should have fucking. <laughs> whoa. I did nothing. Yo, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's because we're past Erica. That's why it's because we're past Erica. Okay, stop with the fucking Max Darkness bullshit. Bro, why does your print pull up no Leaf Storm? What the fuck was that? A what? Uh, yeah. Max fucking Starfall! What you think about that?
Wait a minute. Why does it say Bongo's HP is at... Oh. Okay. I thought it was like a glitch from Fred or something. Like, his HP count was just copied over or something like that. Um, yo, yo, I'm, you know, I'm already over it. I'm already over it. Wait till you see... Uh, I'm so tired of terror raids. I'm so tired of seeing shields. <laughs> I'm so fucking over it. Yes, I love it. Attack his mon and only his mon. That's what we want. No, 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 Chill, chill, chill. Bro, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Uh, what did he just use? Oh, we can heal in these battles. Oh. Um. Uh. Yes, I'm gonna fucking heal. Do we even have healing items? Is it in this bag? Am I in the wrong fucking bag? I don't forgot where to look. Uh. Yes, we do. Okay. Yo, attack him, dog. Fuck him up. Um. I know we're doing a hardcore nuzlocke, but the hardcore is set in the game, and the hardcore rules are no items during boss matches, um, not during matches like these, so what, you expect me to lose this fucking uh, Azumarill here right now? Not happening. Yeah, break that shit. Break that shit. Break that shit, dog. Hyper- You just clicked HYPER VOICE?! HYPER VOICE TAURUS?! Yes, please, I would love a Gyarados. Yes, please, I would love a Gyarados. I said, yes, please, I would love a Gyarados. Do you want a Gyarados? I would love a Gyarados. I said, yes, please, I would love a Gyarados. I said, yes, please, I would love a Gyarados. Hey, the boy has returned. No, <laughs> the boy has returned. Yes, indeed! Woo! Hey, that's worth it. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it out. Take it, I'll take it. Oh, it's, he's in the box. Yo, I want to see you, my boy. I want to see you, my boy. Yes! I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, so we have three more that we got to snag. Um, let me get the fuck out of here. Yo, if because we got our fourth badge and the level increase jumped up and now we're encountering mons like that in Raid Dens because... I don't know about you guys, but I don't think we have encountered... Also, it's not smart to take all three water types into a raid. <laughs> I don't say that much. Um, but I don't think we've encountered a mon that fucking hench before out of a raid den. Like, what the fuck is up with that? Uh, let's go find a... Let's go find a raid den that we haven't hit in a while. Because I know a little while ago we hit the... Oh, no, I don't want to go this way. I, bro, I don't, I, bro, I don't want to go this way. I know a little while ago we hit, uh, the raid den on Route 8, which also apparently we can't battle that Senta Scorch trainer because he has a Mega Senta Scorch and he won't battle us until we have a Mega Ring, so I guess that optional battle's out the window. Knock, knock! I needs me a new encounter. Well, let's see what we got here. Um, I'm still gonna take... No, I'm gonna take Bongo. I'm gonna take Grime Dog and I guess D'Angelo. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Survey says. Oh lord. Okay. All right. I should have stayed at the other raid then. <laughs> oh, I should have stayed at the other raid then. What am I doing? Inferno, stop with that shit. I don't want to be burned. Get this shit up out of here. Did it just say he dodged my attack? And now we're burned? Uh, I don't think so. Max Flare, chill the fuck out. Chill the fuck out, bro. I mean, hey, I'm not bad. We were talking about earlier that we needed fire types, and not only is this a fire type, it's a fast fire type. So, absolutely. Yes, 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 please. Oh. This series is getting more and more like Late Night Emerald than we thought. Um, so, I want to call it Clyde, but we can't, um, I'm going to name you, I promise this is not because of Pokemon Crown, it just popped into my head, maybe it's in my head because of Pokemon Crown, but you know what, there you go, Bethany, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the wish piece as well, 
Um, okay, so that's number two. Numero dos. Let me check you out with your flame body. Okay, 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 okay. See, look, we don't have any fire types over here. None. We only have three total. Ponyta, Pig Knight, and semi Seer. Mm, okay, uh, where can we find another wishing den? Um, or do you think that they... A wishing den. You think that it's based off of the route? Like, if we go back too far, we're just gonna get shittier and shittier mons? Because, I mean, that one that one raid den we did, we got a Grookey out of. Um, and in all honesty, I don't really care if it's if it's a start. It was this one. I don't really care if it's a starter or anything like that. I would. It's still a Rillaboom. I would still utilize it. Um, just as long as it's not a duplicate. That's all I really. Oh, wow, it's burned. That's all I really care about. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Numero number trace. What do we got? Okay, uh, we, uh, we, we gonna find a place for you, don't you worry, don't you worry, don't you worry, we gonna find a place just for you, Frostlass, I know we can, I know you, uh, I, th I, I think Frostlass is kinda speedy, I think Frostlass is kinda speedy, uh, but hey, it's, it's got, uh, very interesting typing, very, very interesting typing, I don't think we have a ton of ice types, I don't think so, um, and aside from, uh, well, Vivian, I was gonna say, aside from Montgomery, I don't think we have a whole lot of ghost types either, so... Hey, we, we, we're being optimistic here. We're being optimistic here. I wanna see what, what does the most. Let's just get rid of it. Get, get this thing out of here. And I swear on everything, if you click goddamn... Uh... Destiny Bond? You shouldn't have Destiny Bond. Yeah, beat the shit out that prim plug. <laughs> Beat the shit out that prim plup. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Um, okay, wait. I clicked too many too many moves. Ultra balling. We're not letting this thing run. We're not letting this thing run. Hell no. Nah. We're not letting this thing run. Will it fit? Will it fit? No, we're gonna save that one because uh, I have the perfect name for it. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. It works, don't it? It works. If you know, then you know. If you know, then you know. I think that's a nice little nod, don't you? I think so. I think so. I think so. Um, okay, so we snagged that as well. Yo, Pokey Violets before I forget. Please and thank you. Whew. All right, Deborah, our Frostless. Ice Ghost Curse Body. Wake up, slap, captivate, bitter malice. And bide, can't forget the bide. Uh-uh, cannot forget the bide. Um, okay, so we have one more that we need to go and crack open. Should we just go back to the one outside of, uh, whatchamacallit? Um, should we just go back to the one to the west of Celadon? Uh, I mean, we're already up here now, right? 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 Should we go all the way up to Bugsy? Ooh, it's been a while. It's been a while. I felt like I spent an eternity of... Oh, he's gone. All right. Our last encounter. Survey says... Oh, we don't have to use a wishing piece for it. Because I guess we haven't been here in that long. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, you comment, you comment, and you comment... Let's do it. Yo, B. Uh. <laughs> well, that's technically. Can I run from this? That's technically. Uh. What the fuck am I supposed to do against this thing? That's technically a... Did this thing pop up here because it's raining on this route? Um, but I was gonna say, that's technically a... Dupes? Or species? Because we already have Gumi? I mean, if we... Actually, if we are following the rule set that we talked about earlier, 
with regional variants, the regional variants are counted as separately, separate encounters, then technically right now, we only have a Gumi in the PC. It's not a Hisuian Gumi. There's no such thing. It's not a Hisuian Sligu. So technically, we could catch this one, have a Hisuian Sligu, or have a Hisuian Gudra, and a regular Gudra at the same time. I mean, if we're following the same idea, then I think we kind of have to go with that. Um, I don't know what is gonna, I think Max Starfall will. Hell yeah. Play rough with this hoe. Gooey. Gooey. Liquidation in the rain? Gooey. Cut that shit out. Cut that shit out! Alright! So that means that our little Gumi in the PC right now, we can just get him evolved. Get him turned into a little Sligu himself. Uh, what are we naming you? Uh, I think we're gonna name you Brenda. I feel like we had someone named Brenda before, but I really like Brenda for Hisui and Gudra. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so I think that's all the encounters we can get in today's episode. <laughs> yo, Soda City is fucking crazy. Yo. We snagged what, like three rows of mons before we took on Erica and we lost six and then we got two and a half rows of bond after Erica what the fuck okay 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 um but you my friend I need you to come here um actually you too Octavius because now that we have the TM for Ice Beam we are all the way good we are all the way good. Where they at? Where they at? Show me where the rare candy be. Where they at? Where they at? Show me where they gonna be. Um, actually, <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I guess I can rare candy you. Um, only reason I say that is because one's physical, and one's special. Oh my god, we're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it for now. Um, I only say that because we're supposed to use a water stone on him. <laughs> Not anything else. I don't know where candies. Yo, get rid of all of these garbage, terrible, trash ass maneuvers that you know. Dragon balls. And ain't that a bitch? Ain't that a bitch? Our level cap is 47. It evolves at 50 in the rain. Here we are in the rain, and we can't get to level 50. All right! We have a Clyster. All right, so we have Bartholomew and Brenda. <laughs> we have Bartholomew and Brenda. Brendeezy! Our Sligoos. Look at this. Look at us go. Look at us fucking go. Almost two boxes of Pokemon. That's insane. That's fucking wild. Um, okay, get me the fuck out of here because we still have things to do today. We still have something else to do. So here in Celadon sh Shitty, um, since we can't do the Mega Centiscorch Trainer yet, that means that we have Morty back in Lavender Town, but we're not worried about him until after we get through the game corner. Um, but we also have two optional mini boss battles still in Celadon City. So I think the way that we're gonna go about it and so that we don't have another episode of us just collecting Mons, um, I think we're going to dive into the game corner next. And then before we leave Celadon, we're gonna do the optional mini boss battles and then book it back on over to Lavender to take on Morty and whatever else from there. So, of course, naturally, before we can even... I don't need a coin case for this shit, right? I can just walk up and be like, hey, bitch, what you doing, dog? Um, but before we can even get down there, we gotta take this dude on. And all of the... Well, not all of the Team Rocket, but a majority of the Team Rocket members um, in this game, specific ones, like, you know, the, the Dig one in, in Cerulean, the, the Burglar one, the guy that stole the TM for Dig, and this jackass right here are considered... Uh, mini boss battles. So we have the game corner rocket poster guard here and he's got a spooky little team with a focus sash No, whoa, take it back. 
White Herb Shell Smash Crustle. He's got an Electros with Assault Vest and the most coverage I've ever seen on Pokemon before. This Swalot, who surprisingly enough has Life Orb and it is hits like a truck with that Sludge Bomb. Again, his moveset is all over the place. And last but not least, we have the Masquerain on the squad at level 47. Uh, Timid Nature with Intimidate, that's the one with the Focus Sash. Uh, with Quiver Dance, Hydro Pump, Bug Buzz, and Air Slash. Two things, uh, three things. Number one, go ahead and let me know who you think the most threatening Mon on his team is. Um, number two, um, when I first sat down to team build for this team, for whatever reason, I thought that it was a doubles match. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to do about this Electro? <laughs> and at the same time, for whatever reason, I don't know why, j literally just now I read White Herb. But for some reason, I thought the Crustle had Focus Sash. But uh, now, as I'm saying this out loud, I'm remembering, to, I'm remembering like, what is this, the, what, how, how far are we? Uh, 51 minutes, probably like an hour and a half ago, I remember like pacing back and forth talking about, oh, the Shell Smash with the White Herb. How the fuck you got White Herb and Focus Anyways, this is just me making the situation a lot harder for myself. Um, but anyways, as far as I know, um, the documentation and the damage calc do not say it's a devil's battle so fingers crossed it's not a devil's battle i don't think it is um but if you are looking and checking this out um his most threatening mon on this team you might think it's the quiver dancing masquerade and i mean i guess arguably maybe the one that i'm worried about the most Honestly, it's none of them. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna be a difficult of a battle. Uh, maybe the Electros, uh, maybe the Swalot, mayhaps. Maybe those guys are the ones that we need to be stressing about. But anyways, walk with me, walk with me, walk with me, walk with me, walk with me over here. Um, so our strategy, our plan for this, initially, this is our Adamant Sheer Force Mystic Water Fred the Feraligator, uh, loaded up against this Crustle. Um, the first time that I, like I said, I thought I had a Focus Sash, I don't know why, and I was sitting here thinking, okay, I can Liquidation and then click Aqua Jet and kill it. That takes care of, even if it has Focus Sash and uh, Shell Smash, right? Like, let's say it Shell Smash is turn one, it probably still will Shell Smash turn one. Um, I think this is considered a mini boss battle, so I don't think he's going to swap out, but as long as he doesn't click Shell Smash, we should be good to go. I mean, Aqua Jet does 44%. Um, from here, but turn one we click liquidation and blow him away if he wants to swap out liquidation does a decent amount to everybody else I think the masquerade takes it the best I think uh, At 40% <laughs> min basically um, Even if we check even just for shits and gigs Swalot's getting smashed by it um, And the Electros don't want none of it either so <laughs> Uh, in all honesty, I'm not expecting him to swap out. I think he's going to leave the Crustle in, let it die. Um, and then the way I team built for this was basically with the notion that the Crustle is going to die, either turn one or turn two. So then who does he send out next? Um, the nice thing that we have about this battle is the Crustle, the Electros, and the Swalot are all super slow. The Masquerade is like 105, 107, somewhere around there, something like that. So he's kind of sort of uh, speedy. Of course, the Crustle can speed up with Shell Smash. Um, the Masquerade can speed up with Quiver Dance too. Um, but honestly, like as long as Gator's alive, I'm not stressing over Shell Smash. Um, I, you, I know you saw we have Azumarill with Aqua Jet as well. Our Primarina's running Aqua Jet even though she is modest nature. So if worse comes to worse and things happen to go downhill, we're not trying to speak these things into existence. But if it were to happen, um, we would be okay. Hey, it was me! Stop! Chill! Sidey, damn. <laughs> can't make any noises. <laughs> can't make any noises. Inside, outside, down the block, in the next street over. Don't make any sounds. They're going to bark at you. Uh, but anyways, yes. If we take out the Crustle turn one, um, who does it go out to next? Uh, my initial guess would, the would be the Electros because it's Thunderbolt Oko's us from full. But in all honesty, you could swap out to any of these mods. If he wants to go out to the Swalot, I think uh, Sludge Bomb does like 60% to us. Um, in return, um, 56.9%. Uh, we're doing roughly about the same, a little bit more. Um, the Masquerade, if he wants to go out to the Masquerade, 
I don't see him going out to the mask rain and clicking bug buzz. I think he's gonna go out to the mask rain and immediately quiver dance because he has a focus sash. And what do we do to it? It's gonna intimidate us and everything. So if he's going to go out to the mask rain, I'm gonna click flip turn. Go ahead, quiver dance if you want. I'm gonna click flip turn. If he goes out to the Electros, I'm gonna click flip turn. We outspeed the Electros. I'm gonna click flip turn. And how much are we dealing to this Electros? We are hitting him with, I'm gonna say, oh, let's just let's just go with the min, 33.7% on the Electros. Um, and we flip turn out into our Alolan Muck. Uh, we are careful natured with a Citrus Berry, so if we flip turn out, he's probably gonna click Thunderbolt against Gator. So Thunderbolt does 30 to 37% max, that's a guaranteed three hit KO. Um, worst case scenario, and I'm gonna, I'm, you know, I'm gonna say the opposite since lately I've been speaking a lot of awful things into the universe. I'm gonna say, best case scenario, we are never gonna get paralyzed, and all we have to do is with that other 30%, we just have to deal 70%. Between knockoff or crunch, oh my god, yes, it'll change the shit now. Poison jab, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Not like I'm gonna clip that, but still, uh, between knockoff and crunch, um. We get the job done so not stressing too much about that um the thunderbolt the first one will take us down 37 percent the second one will put us under half our citrus berry will pop and bring us back up and then i think it's probably two more thunderbolts from there maybe um unless it's all max rolls which uh, i don't have to tell you that but either way that's our answer for the electros so yeah turn one crustle knock it out if it goes into electros we flip turn into a lowland muck big grime dog handle it from there if he happens to go into the Swalot, for whatever reason, um, we're going to click flip turn again. We outspeed the Swalot too. We're going to flip turn into D'Angelo, our Behem. He is calm natured so that we can take as little damage as possible from the Sludge Bomb. I'm pretty sure that, you know, I can't remember everything, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, Sludge Bomb does, actually, no, Giga Drain does more. Well, even better for us. <laughs> In all honesty, even better for us. If he wants to click Giga Drain, we're gonna take 20 to 25 percent, 24 percent, which is even better. That's less damage, which means Sludge Bomb is going to take. If she gets a min, it's still gonna be three Sludge Bombs from there. Uh, no, I think it'll be two. So either way, it's, we're a three hit KO. All we need is one turn. If he's gonna click Giga Drain, perfect for us. We take that. Sludge Bomb, even if you want to poison on that second turn, that's fine with us. We have uh, Petra Berry on the off chance that he uh, goes out to us. I mean, we have to swap in and we get poisoned off the Sludge Bomb because that would really ruin a lot of our uh, rolls and our chances to live here. So, we're Petra Berry. Uh, we were initially Citrus Berry, but we're Petra Berry now just in case of the Sludge Bomb. But again, we take everything that he has from us, I mean for us, uh, and we Oko with psychic we are calm natured not even holding a twisted spoon it's just it's all d'angelo dog it's all d'angelo that's the analytic boost that's all d'angelo um but anyways back to turn one if we uh kill the crustle and he goes out to the masquerade we have bongo here now i would like to let you guys know that these numbers are all after a quiver dance now, the reason I say I'm going to flip turn is because I don't want Bongo to be intimidate dropped. You know, if we uh, hard swap out or if we choose, decide to swap beforehand, I just I just want to deal with that. I'd rather him take it, get your little chip damage off with the Mystic Water and everything else. The Mystic Water is not here for the uh, for the Crustle, by the way. It's for everybody else on the team. We get as much chip damage as we can. We flip turn out. Bongo takes everything from this Mask of Rain. You can't outspeed it, of course, but two play roughs kill it from full. Two play Russell kill it, especially after the uh, flip turn damage. We're good to go. We're in the clear. Uh, so we're not stressing about that. He only has four mons on his team. So that means that we get two extra mons for backup. The first one that we're bringing for backup, ladies and gentlemen, we have Lamar, the uh, Primarina. Just in case things don't go according to plan um, against the Masquerine. I don't know. I don't know if I stroke out at the keyboard and he gets 17 quiver dances up or something. Uh, we have Primarina here. She does 50% uh, max, a good 40% uh, with Moonblast with Pixie Plated, uh, just to get a little bit of extra damage off. But she's more so here just to take the hits. Again, these stats right here 
are with the Masquerade already having a Quiver Dance up. So if it doesn't go for a Quiver Dance against Gator and we flip turn out, we are in an even more beautiful position. And of course, the last Mon that we brought is Floria, our Wobbuffet. Uh, we made her gentle nature just so that we don't get two shot by the Swalot's um, Sludge Bomb. Um, like on the off chance we have to swap in and do it. Uh, in the last episode I was talking about how Wobbuffet's a little tricky to run here. Um, because if the AI has a setup move, it's just going to set up until it can kill Wobbuffet. Like it knows what counter does, it knows what mirror coat does. Um, but as you see, the Crustle, Fred should be able to handle. The Electros, Grime Dog should be able to handle. The Swalot, uh, D'Angelo should be able to handle. And the Masquerine, Bongo, and Lamar should be able to handle. So I brought Florida because the other two Mons that we don't have backup for, well, there's three Mons we don't have backup for, but the Electros and the Swalot don't have any setup moves. Uh, the Electros has a Salt Vest on. Doesn't have any setup moves. So we can send Florida out against either of them for whatever reason and just click Miracle not have to worry about anything that's why we wanted to change the shadow tag so i'm trying to think of like all different options like what if this happens what if that happens what if this happens and this is probably going to be another one of those times when the explanation of the plan is longer than the actual battle but either way i like showing my work i like i like showing people what i'm thinking about because you know you get those times when people say like why the fuck would you do that you should totally know to do this and this and that and it's like yo i want you to know why i chose what i chose look 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 it's right here the numbers don't lie um, so yeah, if we're taking some Thunderbolts, we'll dish it back. All they have to do is live two of them, click Mirror Coat or... Not Mirror Coat. Is it Mirror Coat? Mirror Move? Why, why is this happening to me? Am I stroking out? Is it happening now? Did I speak it into existence? What's happening? Mirror Coat. This has Mirror Move. What the fuck are you, a Firo? Get this shit out of here. Boop. I get it. Mirror Coat. Put it on. It's like a coating. Whatever you, whatever you say to me, it bounces off of me and does double back to you. Literally. So yeah, so that's the idea. Uh, Florida's not here to help with the Masquerade. Because like I said, I'm pretty sure the Masquerade would just quiver dance up and click super effective bug buzz and just wipe us out. Um, that flip turn on Gator on the Masquerade. I don't know if I mentioned, it's also for its focus sash too. So that whenever we bring Bongo in, we don't have to stress about that. Not like we we're going to Oko with Bongo, but anyways, it... That's the idea in planning. We flip turn, we take anything from it, we flip turn, we're good to go. Um, and ultimately, at the end of the day, everyone has their own roles. We have backup for the Electros and the Swalot and the Masquerade. Um, if Fred does his job correctly, we should also have a full HP Gator <laughs> in the back too. Um, if the Masquerade doesn't quiver dance when we flip turn on it then we might lose some hp with bug buzz but aside from that i don't think gator is going to be at risk for anything here so enough jib jabbering i've been jib jabbering like some sort of jibberty box i hope that you guys are ready for this shit right here let's get it let's get it let's get it i hope i don't Ooh. i was gonna say i hope i don't need a coin case for this i'm guarding this poster go away or else listen here jackass Come here. Come here! Bring that ass over here! Oh, thank the lord, it's not a double battle. Oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. See, in Late Night Emerald, I'm on down for double battles. In Radical Red, I'm still down, but, you know, just to... It's not down! It's like, down, you know, I'm, I'm still down. Alright, get this little piece of shit up out of here. I swear to god. Oh no, he has... That's why I was thinking about that. Oh my god, I know everybody watching is like, Nabby, you're such an idiot. Oh my god, yo, I know, trust me, I know. That's why I went with Liquidation Aqua Jet. I thought it was fucking Focus Sash. No, I'm getting my, 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 uh, uh, documentations. I'm going cross-eyed. The Focus Sash is on the right-hand side on the Masquerade. He's got sturdy, duh. Past me was on the right move. It's present me that's fucking it up. But okay, anyways, we're still good. We're still good. We're still good. Who are you going out to next? The masquerade. The masquerade. The masquerade. Okay, now I'm scared. 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 I'm just a little bit scared. Just a little bit scared. Just a little bit scared. A little bit scared. I knew he was gonna go out to this bitch though. Um, so we are at 103. Um, we're good. Well, I guess if we do this, we... I put Rock Slide on uh, Fred as well for this Masquerade. 
not to click it after we've been intimidate dropped or anything, but uh, oh, went for bug buzz. Okay, bug buzz. That's forty two point three percent max. Thank you. We should live this shit. All right. Well, we don't have a perfectly healthy gator sitting in the back. <laughs> not anymore. Not anymore. <gasps> Why does Bongo not have an item? He doesn't have the citrus berry. Uh, okay, we should still be good. We should still be good. We should still be good. How the fuck did I not give him a citrus berry? What the fuck is wrong with me? Okay, it's quiver dancing up. Strongest move is hydro pump at 33.3%. Play rub should do 54.1 men. Damn. 64.3 max. God damn. Hydro pump shouldn't do more than 33.3. Fuck it up. 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 You know how hard it was for me every time I was changing these damage calyx. I'm so used to typing in 44, 44, 44, level 44, and then I looked over and I was like, why the fuck is this thing doing so much damage? And I was like, oh, mask rain is 47. That's why. Um, okay, Electros. We are going out to... Oh, but wait, we don't have the flip turn damage on him. We should still be fine. We should still be fine. I know he's Thunderbolting. Fuck yeah. Um, do we do it? I'm gonna do it. No! I knew I shouldn't have done that. I knew I shouldn't have done that. I'm gonna go for the knockoff. Fuck! Damn! I, you know, I went all, all over that in my head, too. I was like, you know, do I... All we have to do is 70% uh, or whatever the flip turn damage was. Do we go for the gunk shot and risk missing or what? Alright, Florida. It's all on you, girl. It's perfect. You can't swap either. You take that one thunderbolt. Eat it up. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the fuck? What in the bejesus? Hello? I don't like how we're one point above half so our fucking citrus berry doesn't pop. Uh, okay, everything has gone downhill immediately. What the fuck? Uh, Thunderbolt should only do 43.5 if he doesn't fucking crit. You make a plan and a backup plan and they both go wrong, but you know Grime Dog was my fault. Oh my god, I should have never done that. That's so aggravating. That's so aggravating. Okay, so technically Thunderbolt cannot kill. We have one more chance at this. Uh, 108 HP is 46% health. Thunderbolt does 43.5 max. Florida! This Electros is punching holes in our team and I need you to clean it up. Supposed to be an easy fucking battle. Easy fucking battle. What the fuck? How? How? You get in three turns two crits and a paralysis? What the? On what planet? On what planet? And now my fucking Wobbuffet is dead. On what fucking planet? You know, I should have just gone with the initial. We just getting encounters in today's episode. That's all we doing. Um, well, what a shitty situation we find ourselves in. Um, actually, no, we should still be good. Um, because Fred should outspeed, and I'm about 99% sure that we'll kill with liquidation. Wow. Thanks. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate that.
Yo, where the fuck is the Electros? Show me. Liquidation, 62%. End him. Get this bitch out of here. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? How? 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 Are we sure this is a good idea to continue this? Are we sure? <laughs> I'm having doubts now. I'm having fucking doubts. Um, so this Swalot is 69 speed. We're outspeeding it. I'm flip turning. Give me a little extra damage. Y'all. 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 Give me a little extra damage. <laughs> all right, D'Angelo. It's all on you, me, though. It's all on you, me, though. It's all on you, me, though. Because I'm going to tell you right now. You earth powered, bro? What the fuck? I'm going to tell you right now. All we got is uh, fairy types. Because <laughs> our backup for this. ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! STOP! DAMN! Is, is this what I get? For getting two crits in the last episode? I get critted three times back in this one? Jesus! What the fuck? It's supposed to be an easy battle. I literally just spoke it all into existence. I said exactly how it was gonna be played out. No. Fuck that. You're gonna get critted and paralyzed. Ugh. Team Rocket Hideout might be discovered. I better tell boss. Florida, you did not deserve that. Bongo, I don't know what the... Why, why don't you have a citrus berry? What the fuck is up with that? Ugh. I just wanted to add a little battle. In today's episode, that's all I wanted. I just wanted to add a little battle, do a little bit of here, a little bit of there, but back to paradise. So we go, plop you right down in there, Florida. That sucks. <laughs> you know that that was such a nice like little ace in the hole. You know, in your back pocket for situations like that where it's like, oh, all I gotta do is click this, all I gotta do is click that. No, you're gonna get fucking critted and die immediately. She would have lived that. She would have lived that. We were at 45%. Uh, we would have we would have lived it for sure, 100%. Uh, all you had to do is click mirror. To be fair, all you had to do is click mirror coat once, and we would have been good to go. But got paralyzed, so fuck that. Well, I think we're gonna wait. <laughs> That's the wrong word. I think we're going to wrap up today's episode here. Um, <clears throat> and in the next episode, we are heading into the Game Corner basement where I believe there are two mini boss battles and a boss battle awaiting us down there. And I've heard quite a lot about the boss battle down there. So we're going to go ahead and spend the weekend team building for these uh, mini boss battles. And on Monday, we are headed back down here to I don't know get fucked up again if you guys enjoyed today's episode of our radical red hardcore randomized nuzlocke if you guys are happy and excited that it's still going on it's still continuing and of course if you'd like to show your support as a private of the happy nation make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated and until we see each other again thank you so so much for your love and light and please be safe I'm out this bitch bye